Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here in Chicago at the Expo on a high-end audio show, and we're speaking once again with Robert Hartley, editor-in-chief of the Absolute Sound. We spoke last year, Robert. Is anything new this year? What's really happening these days in high-end audio? I'd say the big trend now is high-resolution digital. Everyone's getting the message that MP3 and even CD quality, there's something a lot better called high-resolution, and the message is starting to get out there. Are you seeing this among young people that are wearing the Beats headphones, or are you seeing this among the traditional sort of older um, audiophile crowd, if you will? Well, it's among the, the older audiophile crowd who are getting into it through computer audio, but it's also young people are adopting it, getting better headphones, and once they hear high resolution, there's no going back to MP3. You talk about uh, Neil Young and this new Pono player. You think that's going to open it up to a whole new generation of people that are, don't realize what they're missing? Absolutely. Neil Young has done a great service to the industry and to music by making people aware there's something much better than MP3. And High res Digital is where it's at. And Pono was an enormous success with their Kickstarter campaign. And people are really flocking to High res Digital now. I know my iPhone won't play uh, FLAC files and, and other high-res uh, file formats. Are you seeing that change, though, in devices? Absolutely. A, a year or two from now, everything's going to be able to play high-resolution digital. And downloads and streaming uh, will all be high-res. And the music companies want to sell their catalogs again. So they have a motivation to really get it right this time. So we're going to go through all this again. I'm going to have to buy a new device and, and buy all my music again. Well, that's the nature of progress and technology, but the end result is much better music. Right. Speaking of really good music over the years, you guys have just put out a, a book. It's a fabulous book. Talk about this. Well, we set out to create the definitive history of high-end audio. So we interviewed the founders of these iconic audio companies and created a large format, lavishly produced, richly illustrated book uh, outlining the whole history of the high-end audio. And you say you're going to be doing a, a series of these? Right. It's too big a subject for one volume, so we're doing three volumes. First volume on loudspeakers, second volume on electronics, and third volume on sources. That sounds great. You say you haven't had a chance to look around yet at the show here. Is there one thing that you're definitely going to be stopping in to see before you leave Chicago? I'm going to check out the big speakers. Some of the big rooms have large exhibits with enough space to really demonstrate speakers. So I'm, I'm always look out, on the lookout for uh, state-of-the-art loudspeakers. How do you do it? You've listened to a lot of equipment in your day. I come to a show like this and it, it freaks me out because you really can't listen very well. There's 100 people in the room. People are talking. People like me, of course, are talking. <laughs> How do you do it? What's the trick? Can you help us? Yeah, you just kind of tune it out and listen. And you can, you can listen through the, uh, the noise and hear if a speaker is good or not. Thanks so much, Robert. Good luck with the book. And maybe we'll talk again next year. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.